before this video starts, I just want to give a small trigger warning. Uh, this is a sad update, um, and it talks about the loss of a pet. So um, if this video isn't for you, that's okay. Um, I just, I needed to make it. Okay, um, on with the video. Hi all, and welcome to my channel, Fred Makes Things. Uh, today is a really quick little life update video for you. Um, I'm not sure er, what I'm overlaying this over just yet, um, but I guess enjoy the visual while I talk for a couple of minutes. Um, I'm sorry that this video is going to be so short and that it's not really going to contain any content. Um, it seems like I've been doing a lot of these videos on my channel lately. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to let you all know kind of what's going on with me. If you saw a video that I posted a couple of weeks ago, I mentioned that there's been like a little upheaval in my life. Um, and I just wanted to like kind of quickly talk about that. Um, yeah, so if you've been on my channel at any time recently or if you've looked, um, if you've clicked on any of my most recent life update videos, you know that I lost a family member in June. Um, and, uh, I ended up going to Canada for that and spending, like, three weeks there, kind of, like, um, waiting for them to pass, um, then the funeral and then, uh, a week of decompression before I came home. Um, but when I was there, uh, my cat, Oscar, uh, went in for his, um, six-month checkup and rabies vaccination. Um, and it was then that he was diagnosed with progressing kidney disease um, and was put on some medication. He was put on a heart medicine because he was having some troubles with his heart um, and just a few other kinds of things were going on with him. And so then I spent the entire summer um, looking after him uh, in the near the end of July or early August, I believe. Um, he had another checkup. His heart was doing well, um, but his kidneys were starting to have issues. So he was put on subcutaneous fluids. Um, so my husband and I had to um, administer that every two days. Um, and so we spent like the majority of August and the beginning of September dealing with that, trying to just give him the best life he could. Um, he was still doing fine. He was still playing and eating and drinking and um, most of his usual activities, but we noticed that he had slowed down a little bit. And so um, two and a half weeks ago, he uh, his whole demeanor changed and um, we ended up having to take him to the emergency vet. And it was at the emergency vet that they let us know that his body was going into a... Um, um, an organ shutdown, and so uh, on Thursday, uh, the day the Queen passed, we also said goodbye to him. And um, that that's where I've been uh, distracted a little bit. Um, if you've seen, I haven't been error. I've kind of been having hits and misses with my uploads. Um, I've been accidentally uploading wrong videos or. Um, unedited videos or things like that. Um, I've also been a bit more distracted when I've been filming my videos. I'm not sure if anybody's noticed or not, but uh, my mind hasn't really been here. Um, I just finished filming a seven part uh, long term project video, and even in them, I can see that I'm kind of making silly mistakes that I normally don't make. So it's it's been affecting me um it's why i i haven't been doing any real house update videos or any kind of like um crafting well sorry not crafting but like furniture projects or painting projects or anything like that um i've been focusing on things that i can kind of pack up and set aside a lot or walk away from and then come back to rather than anything that requires like a lot of like attention and a lot of time just because I wanted to save that time for him um 
and now he's he's gone so yeah um i don't know how long i'm going to be able to talk about him but i'll give you like a brief brief history of him um he was adopted in france when my husband and i were still living in france um i had lost my other cat bella to the same thing kidney disease um and the house felt really empty because in france my husband traveled a lot for work and i was home by myself so i decided to foster um cats because i didn't think i was ready to have a cat permanently but i wanted to have a companion so i reached out to a company and um they gave me Oscar to foster. They thought he would be a good ch- fit for me because he was a bit older, he was a bit slower. Um he was also FIV positive and he was being treated for Kelsa virus as well, so he needed to be isolated from other cats so I could do that for him. Um shortly after we started fostering Oscar, my husband received a job offer uh, to move here to the United States that he took. And when it came time to move, we couldn't just leave him behind. So he we we brought him with us. Um we gave him 3 and a half years of as good a life as we could. Um because he had FIV, we knew that his days were short. but um he was our constant companion um he, he his favorite thing was to be snuggled and held he would uh do that over anything else if you just like held him in bed in your arms it was like his favorite place to be um he slept every night in my husband's arms and i could reach over and touch him whenever i wanted to i always knew where he was um wherever my husband was he was if my husband was at work um during lockdown he was most likely in one of the windows in our office um he liked he could hear our car come and he would jump up into a window to greet us and jump down and come and meet us at the door He was very sweet, very snuggly, and just a really, really good cat. And I'm going to miss him a lot. But anyway, I just wanted to let you know that that's where I am. Um it hasn't been a great summer. It's been a, a summer of grief and sadness, but but i just kind of wanted to let you know um why things have been a little off they're going to continue to be off probably through october as well um just because uh i'm a little scrambled still i'm i'm a little heartbroken still i still have suzy my um squeaky foster cat that you can hear in the backgrounds of some of my voice over videos um and i think all of my sewing videos she's there chatting away um and because we she's a really high energy cat uh, we brought in a second foster named hazel um but she she might have her own health issues so she's in quarantine for a little bit nobody will replace oscar he was one of a kind he was a, a boy of indeterminate age over 10 but other than that we don't know we don't know a lot about his life before he came to us but we had him for such a short time but he made such a large impact so with that if you've made it to the end thank you so much for um listening to me um i really appreciate it um i promise no more sad life updates i hope Um next I'm not even sure what's happening after this video. Next week is most likely an unboxing video, um uh, most likely followed by I'm not sure. I have zero plans for my Monday videos right now. So anyway, I'm going to say thank you so much for watching and I will talk with you again soon.
Bye.